Hi, my name is Pete and in this video I want to show you how you can speed up your portrait editing workflow by creating a portrait retouching look. Luminar's got an extensive lineup of portrait retouching tools. There's the AI Skin Enhancer and the AI Portrait Enhancer. Between these two there's almost 15 sliders to tweak to make your portraits look their absolute best. If you often use similar settings like I do, it might be a good idea to turn those into a look. Let's see how we do that. Start off with an image that hasn't been edited yet. If necessary choose Image Adjustments Reset Adjustments. In AI Skin Enhancer I generally set the amount to about 70 and the shine removal to 20. I also check the AI Skin Defect Removal. Then in AI Portrait Enhancer one of my favorites is the Face Light Slider. Let's use 40. I also apply some gentle eye whitening and eye enhancer. The Dark Circles Removal is another one of my favorites. Slimming faces and enlarging eyes is really very image specific so I don't want to include them in a general look. The same for the three lip sliders. I'll just finish this look by adding some improved eyebrows and teeth whitening just in case another image I apply the look to does have teeth visible. Then just click the save new look button in the looks panel. If you don't see that panel choose hide show looks panel from the view menu and then your look will be stored in the user luminous look folder. If you then shoot another portrait all you have to do is select that category and click on the look. And of course you can always decrease the effect with the overall amount slider or tweak individual sliders. So that's how you create a portrait retouching look. Obviously you're not limited to creating just one look. You could create a couple, for example a more extreme one for glamour shoots and a more subdued one for documentary style portraits. It's all up to you thanks to the tools that Luminar has to offer. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tips.